All right, artists, for your make and take today, you are gonna be making some candy corn characters and they are going to be all dressed up for Halloween. So our first step is at the drive-thru, you need to grab a pencil, which is at your seat, a idea sheet, a white piece of paper, a messy mat, and a Sharpie. This messy mat is to catch any Sharpie that leaks through on our paper so it doesn't go on the table. Now, like I said, we're gonna be drawing some candy corns. Now these candy corns are made up and kind of silly, but we know the shape of a candy corn is a triangle. So I'm gonna start by sketching. Sketching means I'm gonna draw lightly with a pencil until I get it right, and then I'll use my Sharpie. Sharpie comes last, so I'll put it off to the side, and drawing my candy corn, I'm gonna start with four horizontal lines. Two, three, four. I can fit about four candy corns on this paper. Now from these horizontal lines, I need to make a triangle. I know the candy corns have kind of a rounded point, so you could make a rounded point there. Or it could be pointy. Next step that all candy corns have is two horizontal lines for each of the colors on the candy corn. So I'm gonna draw two horizontal lines on each candy corn. Now comes the fun part. I get to decide what each of these candy corns are dressed up as. Here are some ideas for details. If I was going to draw a spider candy corn, it would have eight legs and probably lots of eyes. So with my pencil, I'm gonna start with lots of eyes. His mouth, I think, would have some sharp teeth and then some spidery legs. One, two, three, four. Artists, I'm just being creative and thinking about different costume ideas that I would like to wear and then dressing my candy corn up as it. It could be anything you want. Maybe you would have a witch. A witch has these kind of pointy shoes and maybe some um, striped stockings. Those could be two accessories or details that would help my viewer, the person looking at my artwork, know that it was a witch. What's fun about this project is as we look around the room, everyone's gonna have some different ideas, some different characters, and that's what makes art fun. Everyone's can be a little bit different. Once I have drawn details and accessories for each of my candy corns so that they're dressed up like a person for Halloween, which is kind of silly, I am ready for the Sharpie part. So I would do these last two, but then I would come back with Sharpie and outline my candy corns, making sure that my messy mat is underneath my paper. When I have outlined all my candy corns, I'm ready to add some color. So I would color in my candy corns, orange, yellow, white, and then I would color in some of those details or accessories, like the shoes or a hat. Or if it was a werewolf, I would need to add some scruffy hair. I can't wait to see these fun candy corns that you make and your own imaginative ideas.